Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and today we are going to be doing a special 3-in-1 reaction mashup. Today we are going to be checking out 3 solo debuts of former ISO 1 members Gunnumbi, Yujuri and Yena. And uh, yeah, I had not checked out the um, solo debuts of Gunnumbi and uh, Yujuri um, directly when they came out a few months ago. And uh, Yena did hers, I think, last week. And so I thought, you know what, why not just do them all together? You know, they have the same past, basically, being former uh, ISO 1 members. And that's what I thought, you know what, why not uh, do them all at once? And uh, yeah, ISO 1, already already realized, I used to pronounce um, the group name as ISO 1. But it's is one, you know, or like is one as example. There are so many different. I've heard so many different names, you know, like so many people have so many different pronunciations for that. Some K-pop name pronunciations are are difficult, just like for Kwonumbi. I think that's how you pronounce, you know. Forgive me if I uh, struggle a bit throughout the video. Uh, but yeah, we had already now seen, or I had already seen now, three former members perform. Uh, once uh, Cheon and her, um, in her special stage with uh, Mini, Aisa and uh, Richin, and we had seen Wonjung and Eugene in IF. And now we have three more um, is one members to add to the list, and that will then make six of twelve. Means no idea if the other members will debut in groups or solo soon or whatnot, but we will definitely be getting to a Eyes of One first time reaction video as well very soon. You know, I'm always a bit uh, when it comes to checking out this band group because there just won't be any new content of them coming up down the road. But I think we will be doing that nonetheless. But enough talk about the group in general. We will now be talking more about the solo members. And we're cooking things off and uh, doing this in chronological order, it means we will be doing very first Con Umbi solo debut door she was the first to debut after the disbandment of the group as well and um yeah she was the leader of um the group alongside main dancer and lead vocalist means what can i expect from her solo debut no idea what to expect from her voice but uh, given the fact that she was majority like a main dancer lead vocalist i definitely expect maybe something more upbeat definitely something more in a dance direction that shows off her voice that's at least what i am anticipating given her positions within the group so let's stop the talking let's start the reacting Kwon Umbi, the first former eyes one member to debut and her solo debut door let's check it out <sighs> Wanted to do this for a long time and not so many time. Let's go. All your positive things too, so let's check it out. That's already Oh. Yeah, definitely already sounds a bit more in the dance track direction. She looks stunning though. Hmm. Yeah, I see where this is going. A slight stutter melody. Like the, uh, uh, uh. Oh. her vocal color, a bit brighter. Ah, oh, okay. Instrumental chorus. Guessing this will have a very elegant choreo on stage. Oh! I love the video aesthetic. The music video is beautiful. Like the color choices. The, the usage of nature. Ooh. Yeah, definitely a dance song. Oh, but I, I really, I really dig her visuals. Especially in combination with this more nature inspired theme for the MV. Oh, is she doing that on stage too? Like for the extra choreo? That would be insane. Ooh. Her visual is no joke. She looks incredible. In all the looks we've seen this far. But this special looks so rich and royal. Ah, this pre-chord is now a bit longer, right? Definitely a bit more flourished. Right. Oh, that looked too though. Oh, the visuals in his MV. Both aesthetically and from her side. Love the styling. 
Ding this very groovy first half of the chorus into this very explosive second half. Hmm. Yeah, this has a very playful dance element to it. That's such a great amount of groove. Ooh. Ooh. Her rope could still be shining. Exactly what I anticipated. It's definitely going into a dance direction. Yet it still leaves enough room to show off her voice. What the butch is it did in Vito? This part, you know, especially too. Oh, additional, yeah, we have a lot of dance platform here. Stage performance must go really, really strong for this. Okay. Quan Ombi's solo debut door. This is just basically really what I expected. After looking at her, um, after looking at her positions, uh, this is definitely something I was expecting, and that's not bad, you know? Like, it's not a predictable debut in that sense, but it's um, definitely something that suits her a lot, you know? Makes totally sense to have her debut with this type of song. It really showcased her strengths. Even though the chord, it was definitely nothing, you know, to, to crazy or anything, but it definitely um, is something uh, rather unique and rather elegant and has something uh, extraordinary to it that I think will shine even more on stage directly than here in this music video that is obviously focused more on other visuals. Um, what I want to just check the real quick about her. Uh 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 uh. Wait, what's the name of the company? Vulum Entertainment. Because I've actually... Have I reacted to something yet? Wait, what? Okay. That's also what I want to see. She's 26? Okay, I did not expect that. I would have expected her like... 20, 21 or something like that. Because the thing about um, Eyes of One was, um, I think, um, or like it is at least for many other um, survival show groups um, at the moment, um, that they have very young members. So I was like, okay, how old is she? How old are the other members? I think Cheon is 19 right now. Like Moonjung is still 17, who was part of Eyes of One. I think she was 15 or 14 when they debuted. But I did not expect 26. Holy moly. Like, damn. Like, 26 is, is far away from being old or anything like that, but I would have never anticipated her to be that old yet. Okay, alright, that's the first thing. Second thing, Bulum Entertainment. Have I reacted to something from Bulum Entertainment yet? I don't think so, because this budget definitely surprised me. Um, Very, very good budget. The music video was gorgeous. That music video looked really, really good, and it really, really showcased her a lot. You know, I think this is really a ideal, or like an... Just a perfect solo debut for, for her caliber. Like mentioned, she was the main dancer, she was the lead vocalist, she was the leader. And it's definitely high budget enough, worthy of a leader. It's a good showcase, especially probably on stage for her dancing talent, because this is definitely a dance song with a lot of instrumental uh, sections in there for the chorus and dance break outro and whatnot, all in this more groovy um, type of style and vibe, uh, which will really showcase their talent. But it also showcased her voice pretty well, especially in this more explosive second part of that chorus which like mentioned pretty fun you know this this chorus drop uh, with the groovy uh, smooth type of um, sound element then quickly and um, going into that more explosive part works really well for her i think they definitely nailed um showcasing her strengths with this debut not just only sonically but also visually because this music video damn it looks fantastic. It's actually from the from the case on a bit more simple. You know, it's nothing huge landscape wise, but they still really, really uh, showed her off well. Like she looks incredible. She looks absolutely amazing. We have a lot of different styles of this, like five or six or more. Like we have this little room here. Then we have this uh, nature scene here um, with the. Um, you know, where we have like this dance stage and everything around her is a bit more with more nature inspired. I really like that a lot. This headgear looks great. This styling throughout this is just. They just really showcased off all her strengths in this. Her visual strengths, because she's 
just just a visual for sure she looks amazing but also knew how to show off her main dancer position or like that she is a dancer majority but also that she has a great vocal alongside with it and that are all great assets uh, or assets you need for a to be a good soloist, you know, that's uh, what I read. Generally, many people were wondering what will happen with the with the Eyes of One members. What what will they do after that? Will some go into acting? Will some go into into groups? Or will some do solo stuff? We now have three official solo debuts with her being the first one, and I think she, she definitely has the qualities to do that. It's obviously now only the debut yet. We have still to see, obviously, how she can carry on uh, throughout throughout this year, throughout next year, and whatnot. But this is a very good first impression too. Like mentioned, I've never listened or seen her before because I've not uh, read to Eyes of One yet. But this is really damn good. You know, the song is definitely uh, like not my favorite style in Cup of Tea exactly. But it works perfectly for her, and I think it's just a lot of fun nonetheless. The chorus suits her well. Like mentioned, a, a dance version of this, or like a stage performance of this, will showcase the chorus probably even better. We had, like mentioned, a very cool music video alongside this that is, like mentioned, rather simple. You know, it's like nothing too crazy in itself, like crazy story or too crazy locations, but they all look great. I mean, just look at this. All these flowers, all these butterflies, so many colors. It just looks gorgeous. And we had so many different stylings on her too, whatever it's the hair or with the outfits, like here this dress looks great. Here this more, more, more on stage stunning look is great. Here this, this dress looks cool. Also what I mentioned, um, this part in the choreo where they had her like lifted up in the air. Is that, in is, th is that included in the actual choreo on stage? It would be insane, like, transition-wise, would be pretty hard to do, but look great for the music video, nonetheless. The perfect timing, this part right now, lyrics also looked fine, wasn't able to focus on them too much, was more focused on what the, what the ears hear and what the eyes see, but, like, so many great outfits throughout this. Seriously, this gold dress look here is amazing, that looks fantastic, that bit of the chorus is fun too. Like, just let's let's listen to this chorus one more time. The pre chorus was also a bit more flourished in the second half. The song definitely develops too, you know, starts simple and is a bit more flourished in the second half, of, definitely. <laughs> it's still very refreshing, you know, it's not too generic either. Here now, very bright, explosive pop sound. We go here higher in the in the vocal too. Suits her so well. Damn, this bridge is really smooth. This location is cool with the clouds. This just you see that they went a lot of effort into this, and it, it really shows. Then this look here, the true final word we look basically. We have the background vocals going on too, so she was a lead vocalist as well, not just a dancer. Very solid. I'm not even really to criticize. Very funky. Classy and fun sounds. Like mentioned, it's definitely not my main type of sound and, and genre, but it sounds great and looks great too. Great stuff. A door by Quan On B. This was such a fun time. Like mentioned, nothing I can really criticize here. I think they show the first strings pretty well. It means visuals, dancing, and vocals. Sounded great, would probably feel even better on stage where the dancing obviously can shine a little bit more so. Quan Ombi's debut uh, door, really good, nothing to criticize, had a lot of fun with it, and enjoyed it a lot. We're moving over to our second uh, Eyes of One member solo debut, which uh, comes from the group's main vocalist. Not sure if we had other main vocalists, at least six I've checked, well I will be checked I have checked out after this, we're no main vocalist, so I'm not sure if one of the other was. Uh, your jury and her solo debut, Classy. She's now slowly a main vocalist, so I expect this to definitely be a more vocal focused song, of course. Question is, what direction could it go? Will it be more of a typical 
vocal focused Korean type song, you know, which there is just this type of um, sound that is really suited for majority like slowly vocal focused performers. Will it maybe go to summer song direction? Will it have something totally different? What element is she going for? What is the visual style? Let's stop the talking and let's find it out. Yo, Jury, the main vocalist of Eyes of One and her solo debut, Classy. Let's check out what she has in store for her solo debut. Ah, intro good. This was already a very, very good start. Mm -hmm. hmm. Ooh, she has a... Just a very intricate vocal tone, like the color in general. Ooh, I really like her voice. Ooh. Ah, the glass shoes, I see. Curve looks fun as well. Oh, Ooh, this part is really catchy straight away. Oh, I love her. Her vocal is really good. Something so so calm about it, it's still so much strength in it. Alright, quick verses I see, but a very lengthy and melodic pre-chorus. Ooh, this pre-chorus is smooth! Then a very energetic transition here. Very melodic first half, but then... Okay, we're getting that for the third one again. Okay, interesting bridge. Ooh. Interesting music video, a lot of CGI. Definitely dig that bridge. Started very calm and whispery in some sense, but got a bit more energetic near the end. Oh, but she's so cute too! But... Ooh! This second part is so catchy! Okay. Wait, which label is she? Wait, one? Ah, so many, so many labels that I don't even know about yet. Okay. This was really good. This was really good. Okay, she's currently under Wake 1, which is another one of the sub-labels of Stone Music Entertainment, right? Like, Stone Music Entertainment was... Are they just a publisher? I think I've wanted that before. Like, I think at one point I thought ATs and, and Everglow are under the same label too, because both of them upload, like, because Stone Music Entertainment uploaded both the music videos. I think Wake 1 is one of these that, that just are categorized on that. Okay, so Wake 1 is her, is her label. It's trendy, okay, okay. All right. This was... Fantastic! Music video wise, it definitely carried a fun personality too, you know, was rather playful, a bit more on the fun side, you know, not too serious, you know, like I do not really want to compare the the, the Zolk Davies now really, but um, like what well, Kwon Umbi's was definitely a bit more royal, a bit more, you know, 
I, I think I can say a bit more fitting for her age, you know, was definitely already a bit more mature in that sense. This is definitely a bit more, more bright or a bit more teen fresh, if you can call it like that. And lots of colors, very colorful, you know, the CGI dream world type of aesthetic there with the like being there in the clouds and whatnot. A lot of colors and all that kind of stuff suits her. I think it definitely suits her because she definitely still has this uh, very teen like vibe to her, you know. She may be 20, but she, she definitely still carries over this, this teen energy in some sense. Visually, like she definitely, she has something very young looking about her, you know? Like it's very cute, but she definitely, I would have not been surprised if she was still 18, 19 or something like that. But um, I think the music video aesthetic still suits her a lot, you know, like here with this more casual look and all that kind of stuff. I think it suits her. I think it suits her definitely nonetheless. But let's talk about the song. And it's definitely... um. If, it, if I wouldn't have known before that she's the Bane vocalist, I actually wouldn't have expected it afterwards. I think this is definitely not like a huge vocal showcase. The song is definitely more lighthearted, more 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 simple on the vocal department. I think she, I think she debuted with a with a mini album too. I'm pretty sure that there is a song or a B-side, you know, the same um, on that mini album that will be more onto the vocal showcase for sure. Probably just a typical ballad, but um, this this definitely was a bit. A good mix of everything, actually. Like, there was a cool choreo part of it, you know, um, a cool um, switch up in the tempo as well, and um, generally just a bit more lighter in every sense, you know, not as powerful as we would expect a main vocalist, at least on paper, to be. Like, mentioned, I think she definitely showcased that at one of the B sides. But Glassy carries an energy that I really enjoy because it is like mentioned something very refreshing and has this young energetic feeling to it this this light hardness that just makes it put on this song and just just lean back and vibe to it you know and like mentioned her voice is amazing her voice is a lot of fun to listen to it's it's hard for me to describe exactly what it is about her voice but she just has something there's just something in her vocal color that is so so in some sense normal, but in another sense, did it bad unique? You know what I mean? It's it's hard to describe, but there's something so. I just want to listen to her. You know that that, that when I hear that voice, it just makes me want to listen. It makes me. It it opens my ears even wider because I'm like, ah, oh, I want to hear more. <laughs> oh, it's really hard to put into words. This pre-chorus is amazing, by the way. Let's talk a bit more about the song. Like mentioned, her voice is... I love her voice. It's hard to put in the word exactly what it is about it. But there's something... I don't know if it's like this... Na, 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 bit that she has in there. But like, her voice is lovely. I love her voice a lot. This song, though... Uh, it's definitely a song that is... It's quick on the verses. You know, the verses are just there, you know. Just like, nothing too crazy. The pre-chorus, though, is lengthy and... Very, very good. This -na 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 sounds amazing. This pre chorus sounds really good. And uh, then we have the chorus. And the chorus is the first half is a um, bit more explosive, you know, has that um, energy to it that just sounds great. But the second part is where it's at. That second part is that catchy thing that everybody can do. And oh my lord, does it sound great! Like the, the first part is already good, you know. We we do the classic, we do the we do the full chorus after the first part. Then after the second part, we only do the first half and to to save that second part again for the finale. You know that that's just a very common thing to do. It sounds so good, like honestly. We have a very calm transition. We do like the glassy short, drown up moment where we put out everything else and then whoosh, back at it with full force and vocals and whatnot. A very bright and energetic sound. Very full and melodic chorus, but now. Then the small interlude here too. This is amazing. This second part of the chorus is... Oh my goodness. Like the first half is, is good, you know, it sounds good. But 
nothing too crazy to me, but this second part is just so freaking catchy, and the way, and actually, okay, you know, the first half is, you know, not as good as the second half, but it is needed to make the second half feel as good, you know, the first half is a bit more quicker in the pacing, you know, a bit more brighter and energetic in the vocal tone too, and then for the second half, we drown the tempo, we turn down the tempo a little bit and go from na 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 to a bit more na 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 instead, and have that lyric bit afterwards also in a bit more calmer pace that's so cool you know it's basically um a switch up to what you usually have um we have like mentioned uh, two half chorus and the first half is the more energetic one and the second one is the more chill and cool down you know we have chorus drops where the first half goes a bit more like then the second part goes you know where we basically use the first half to prepare for the more energetic second half. In this case, we kick off the chorus in this energetic, bright type of sound, and then do this chill, lean back, sick sounding na 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 la 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 catch part afterwards. Amazing. That chorus is fantastic. That chorus is freaking amazing, and that in combination with the pre-chorus alone already makes this a playlist edition for me. Like, so freaking catchy. It sounds incredible. And like mentioned, her vocal color is something very, very good about it. Um, I always talk about it. Not everybody is, suits, is suited to be a soloist, but I feel like her voice is definitely a type of voice that it just suits that bit, you know? It just really shines, and I think this is, once again, a perfect showcase for that. The bridge was also okay. You know, the bridge did its job. You know, it's definitely not the highlight of the song for me. You know, this more calmer bit here after we skip the second part of the chorus. Sounds good, you know. We build up a bit of tension. You know, we use the uh, first half of the chorus to transition to this bridge, cool things down a little bit again. Raise anticipation. The top line of the song is cool too. Smooth high notes, you know, not too high, you know, it was more of a, just more energetic vocal, I'd say. Into this energetic chorus part again, and then... Ooh. Ooh, this chorus is amazing. Oh man. And then a cool outro bit too. That's always the cherry on top, you know, not just ending the song immediately after the last lyrics and nope. These little these little five seconds of outro add a lot, trust me. Yo, Jury's solo debut classy is incredible. Absolutely loved it. Like mentioned, I really, really like her voice. There's something really, really cool in the tone that I like mentioned. It's hard to describe, but like this, na, 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 na. she just has something in there that I really, really enjoy. And this song was a great showcase for that. You know, not a, not a really powerful showcase. I'm pretty sure she has some powerful vocals in it that will be or our showcase on a different song on her mini debut album, um, which or debut mini album, which. I, Think exists. I think she debuted with a mini album, but it was still a great showcase for her voice. Um, great melodies in there. So many great fun little moments in the song. The bridge is cool. The, the, the chorus is great. The second part especially. Jury is classy. Really damn good. I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed this really much. You know, the song um, definitely stands out to me. Music with the Luck Mansion. It's fine, a bit more casual, lots of CGI to give the stream aesthetic there, worked for me too. So overall, absolutely enjoyable, had a lot of fun with it, enjoyed it a lot. And we are moving on to our final free, uh, to our final after free um, former Ice One uh, Zolo debut music videos. And that is Yana featuring BB and her um, solo music video, Smiley. And first of all, that feature is... A plus, love BB a lot, especially love Powder, one of her recent songs that had one on loop for quite a while. Big, big fan of her being involved here. And uh, Yana was the main rapper, lead vocalist, and lead dancer. Same. 
that's what you call an all-rounder. And her being a main rapper is already giving me big hopes. Big rap fan, so um, she will maybe be having a bit more flow variation in there, while both Endor and Glass were a bit more vocal focused, obviously, for obvious reasons. Interesting for this. Very intrigued to, to see where this is going. Like mentioned, the BB feature is amazing. Really want to see where that is going. So let's stop the talking. Let's start reacting first of uh, today's uh, Ice One Zolo member Zolo debut music video. Goodness gracious. Jenna and her uh, debut music video, Smiley featuring BB. Let's check it out. Ooh, oh my goodness. We're already 30 minutes. Not day. Breaking news. A new superhero is reported to be seen at the Eiffel Tower yesterday. Spring okay. of and smileys, which apparently have the power to make people happy. The name of this hero is Smiley Yenna, and her intention is to smile the world and beyond the universe. Okay. Alright. Interesting intro. Oh. Hello. Okay, that's already very creative. I'm doing this. Ooh. I already love her personality a lot. This is already so much identity. From her acting to to the ad lips to the editing too. I love her expressions a lot. Her acting is amazing. I can already say so much. Ooh. Oh, this is some very Ooh. Ooh. very fun chorus top line baby her voice she just has that it factor in her voice seriously This feature is double thumbs up. Holy moly. Fantastic choice, Yena. Ooh. I love this top line. Cry, cry, cry all day. Ooh. This is something so old school pop to it. It kind of reminds me of some old school 2000s pop songs. That there's something so nostalgic in it for some reason. Like it carries over this nostalgic energy from some of these old songs. Okay. Big fan of the music video actually having extra scenes, you know. Lovely. She looks incredible though. Love the hairstyle. Oh! Oh! We got anime on? That looks. That animation is amazing. I love the editing in this music video. Yana and Bibi together too. Bibi's feature was incredible. But I'm actually surprised that the rap sequence was slowly on Bibi and Yana herself didn't really rap at all. Like Ben, she was a main rapper, so I would have expected some, some rap here from her too. But I'm fine with that nonetheless. Ah, uh, but these 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 shots together of Ah! Uh, now we're doing we're doing that some sometimes. Love these shots here. 
Yen and Pippi are a cool duo together. Would have loved to to see them rap together too, you know. Like they're like the, Bibi's part was like mentioned very distinguished from the rest of the song was the only real rap part of the song. I uh, would have loved to hear them flow together. Would have been cool because like mentioned this was definitely surprisingly no real rap showcase for her. you know while both um Umbi's and Yujuri's songs were definitely vocal focused which made sense given their positions. Like Umbi's song was very dancey and vocal focused. Uh, Yuri's song was just generally vocal focused. Her song was also vocal focused actually, which like mentioned. She's a total rounder, main rap elite vocalist, the dancer. I mean, holy moly. Um, but definitely less rap than I expected. But whatever. That's not my that's not my main aspect, you know. This song carries an energy, a vibe, and feeling that just feels so nostalgic for some reason, you know. Whatever it's it I don't know. Even plus the editing, I actually saw a few people like say Something like they could have seen in a Disney movie. And now the more I think about it, it makes kind of sense, you know. This definitely carries over this this very fun, energetic, yowful type of energy that um just just makes you smile. Just just makes you smile. The, the perfect example that the song carries over the, the energy of the song title perfectly. This song just just fills you up with so many good feelings instantly and um long from long from the song itself but especially with the music video so many fun sequences in there you know this thing has a story this thing has a lot of extra scenes this music video invites you to, to watch it over and over to to watch it uh, separately um besides the audio you know like obviously if you just want to listen to the song then the audio will definitely be more of your choice but this music video just just carries over a lot of um, cool stuff that makes you want to tune in again, which is always a big plus for me, you know? Always a fan when music videos actually give extra content that makes it worth to, to hit it again, because otherwise I usually only listen to the audios. Um, she she went for a very gimmicky debut, I could say, like, you know, mentioned with this, this superhero Yana aesthetic and her goal being making everybody smile and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cute too. She she looks cute as well too. She, I really, I just really liked her, her style and personality in this, and that is definitely thing I gotta say. Her her acting and expressions and everything in this. Oh my goodness, my hair looks so terrible. I hate it so much. Her acting and expressions in this were were so cool. Like sh she just oozes personality. She just oozes identity, which is so likable. You know, you watch this music video and you immediately feel familiar with this person. I've never seen it before. I've never listened to her before. And it still feels like I I know a lot about her just from this one music video. It's such once again a perfect showcase for the debut. I think all three debut music videos we checked out today did such an Ex ex excellingly good job at showcasing off the individual talent and the individual personality and style that all of the three former Eyes One members we've checked out now today have. You know, that's like mentioned only uh, that Yana didn't really rap at this, which I feel like she will have done in some of the B-sides. But um, yeah, this song, like mentioned, carries over in some way the Disney energy, both from the colorful music video and editing to her, to her, um, to her gimmick in this, with like mentioned, is making everybody smile like goal, and also especially this chorus. This chorus carries over an energy that just has something so like mentioned nostalgic about it. Even though it's like mentioned a new song, you know, it's not the type of song um, that is nostalgic to you because. It is an old song to you that you listen to two different times, but it already has the type of sound and vibe to it that you will look back on over the years already feel nostalgic to. I already feel nostalgic about the chorus right now when I will now listen to it again, I think. Like, we hear the chorus three times of this, and during the third chorus, I was already like, oh my god, oh, you know, it just evokes something in you, and that is something very, very special about music that not everything can do. But this chorus... This chorus and her, her energy in that is just incredible. And without even having to mention that the chorus itself and its melody is just fantastic. I want to listen to this chorus again. I want to listen to this chorus again. But again, her, her acting in this, her personality, she just oozes identity. It's so fun. Like her cute persona, her, her styling, her makeup and everything. It's just, it's on point. Fantastic job done by... Who, 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 who produced this one? Stone, just Stone Music Entertainment, no sub label, anything like that. I don't know. But let's listen to this chorus again. It's a more upbeat, 
fun type of sound. And it's like mentioned, obviously, it still features flow. You know, it's definitely fl more of a flow vocal song rather than a more slow paced vocal type of song, you know. But it's not, you know, like a heavy rap session like BB Ad example. But this chorus. Hey, doesn't make you smile, smile, smile away. Hey, hey, now they wanna cry, cry, cry all day. That chorus is just it. And again, I don't gotta mention BB's verse is obviously freaking fire. What a fantastic choice for for the debut. Even though, like mentioned, if if Yana did this part instead and with some more rap from her side, would have worked too. But I totally see no downside to her uh, including BB as a feature for this and have her do the rap section. BB's like an incredible artist and. BB also has something so unique about her. Whenever she comes on, you just instantly know it's BB. She has something very remarkable about her voice and her tone and pronunciation. So, like mentioned, double thumbs up feature. Incredible feature on that. Her part was pretty fire. But, um, like mentioned, Yana carries an energy and oozes so much personality and identity. It's crazy. It's crazy. Smile, 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 away. The chorus is obviously very catchy. This English line to smile, smile away, cry, cry all day. Sounds so cool. Hey, hey. Cry, cry, cry all day. <laughs> this scenery is also so cool. Referring this this look here, it throws it through the snowstorm. Singing is pretty freaking cool. Like, it just looks so cool. Now this bridge here. Very wholesome shots here too. The music video is so wholesome. And again, she looks amazing too. She looks incredible. And this part too. This is this really feels like something from Disney Channel. Like Camp Rock as example, high school musical. The animation, the colorfulness, the the yellowfulness to it. Hey. Need the extra vocals for this final chorus too. Hey. She even has the she even has this this prom like princess dress on, fitting for this finale of a movie like mine. This is so Disney in some way, and it's amazing. Oh my goodness! Is this my favorite of today? Like all three songs were so good, and it makes me already very excited to check out Eyes One as a group as a whole, because. Oh. So, Do was fun for its for its danciness and for its energy in that way it was pretty fun. Then Classy was like mentioned also so smooth and it's such a great chorus and top line and everything. And now Yena's smile has such a nostalgic, yellowful energy and vibe to it that just instantly connects with me. Not just Sawas, but also her entire person. Her personality, her identity, it's so likable. Her acting, her, pronunci her, her pronunciation, her, her facial expressions, everything. And this is just so, so likable. This is what... Just, let's say it like this. All three songs we've checked out today are so different from one another. Like, all look so different to one another. And, uh, well, like, feel so different to one another. Each song is a very different genre, too. Like, one is a more chill, groovy dance song with some vocal showcase the second one is a more chill vocal song with a more um, catchy chorus element and smiley the last one it's um a very bright upbeat yowful um energetic song that is all about this yowful and lighthearted feeling to it all three songs are so different to one another all three songs just ooze and deliver in their own ways so much and Everybody really delivered here for me. Personally, like mentioned, Umbi's uh, sound and style is just not one of my favorites, but I still enjoyed the song. Classy, like mentioned, is also more of a, you know, simple sound. It also usually isn't my entirely my favorite, but this chorus is just insanely catchy, and I'm just a big fan of uh, uh, Yujuri's voice. And Yana, like mentioned, has something so likable about her entire personality. The other ones too, but there's like something so, I don't know, just something that's connected with me a little bit more about the entire, entire music video setting and everything. And um, just has such 
energy in her tone and delivery, especially for the chorus, that is so likable as well. Uh, can't really pinpoint out a favorite, like mentioned, all three songs have something that I really enjoy, um, all three artists themselves, so but, so Konumi, Jujuri, and Yen have something I really enjoy about them as well, whatever it's the visuals, the voice, the, the, the everything, you know, all three deliver to you a lot for me today, I so much fun with all three music videos, I enjoyed them a lot, and I hope you enjoy it, I reactions, if you did, gladly leave a like down below to show me that you did, what are your thoughts on these three music videos? Which one is your favorite? Is it Konumbi's? Is it Yojuri's? Or is it Yana's? What is your favorite part of each song? We have a lot to talk about, so tell me all your thoughts about it down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, then you can gladly leave us up as well or support on Patreon. It would help me a lot. When will we see each other again with any of these three artists? Like mentioned, all three, I think, have a mini album that came with their debut, so maybe I will be checking out their mini albums. Otherwise, like mentioned, we will be doing Eyes of One soon. Question is just when. Um, I'm like mentioned, also not sure whenever or like when the other six will do something else, you know, like mentioned, um, Jayon just saw now on the special stage, the other two were in, are now in a new group, these three now chose to be soloists, well, other six members of, of former members, uh, will go soloists as well, or part of the group or whatnot, maybe, I think some wanted to go into acting, we'll see about that, otherwise, like mentioned, we will be doing a first time reaction to ISO 1 down the road, maybe I will check out all the music videos, who knows, will all depend on how much you want to see it, so, Whenever you want to see it, tell me all about it and uh, tell me if it would be interested in that. And otherwise, yeah, I have a lot of other great candy for fun K pop content coming up. So, for whatever content you may be interested in, for whatever content you may want to tune in for, I'll be seeing you again soon on this channel. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. Have a great time, have a great week, and great weekend. And see you again soon with more K pop reactions. Thanks for watching.